Hello everybody. Welcome to another video from Currency Collector Searcher. Uh, my name is Victor and I always appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos. Thank you very much in advance. So today we are talking about web notes. Some of these uh, can carry a huge premium into the hundreds of dollars in the secondary market. So today we will look at first what they are, then we'll look at how to identify them, we'll review the value of web notes, and then talk about where you can find them to put money into your pocket. If you're not searching for these web notes, you really are missing out because they are out there for the taking. People are finding them in circulation. All right, so first, uh, what are web notes? And here's a picture of one right here. This is a web note. Looks very, very similar to just a regular traditional dollar bill, okay? There are some differences which we'll talk about in just a minute. So um, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, known as the BEP, they were using what's called the intaglio printing process, which is a method of printing on flat sheets of paper. And that's what they're currently using today. So that's why many notes that you see in circulation today have what's called a wet ink transfer on them. Because when the sheets of paper are stacked on top of each other, the wet ink from one note gets transferred to the other note that it's touching. So these normally can sell between uh, you know, five dollars, maybe to upwards around twenty dollars or so, depending on the severity of the ink transfer and, as always, the condition of the note. So between 1992 and 1996, the BEP wanted to see if a web press that uses a continuous roll of paper, think newspaper printing or a cash register roll of paper where you get your receipt. They wanted to see if a continuous roll of paper was quicker and cheaper than the intaglio process that they were using for printing notes, which uses those flat sheets of paper. They only printed series 1988A, 1993, and then 1995, like you see in this one right here. And they were only printed in Washington, D.C., not in Fort Worth, Texas, because this was just an experimental process. So the current sheeted the intaglio process produced about 8,000 sheets per hour, and the web press machine produced a, around 10,000 sheets in 35 minutes, roughly twice as much as the sheeted method. But because of uh, frequent machine breakdown uh, and the reliability issues that they had, as well as the print quality, which was not nearly as good, the experiment was discontinued in 1996. So that's a little background on the web notes. Uh, and they are quite rare. There's not nearly as many printed uh, of the web notes as there are the regular notes, uh, which is why they command a premium. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a look at how you identify web notes. There's two ways to identify web notes, okay? So on a web note, on the front, the plate number, the face plate number will be on the front, on the bottom right, that's right here, and that's only going to have a number. There's not gonna be a letter, like in this traditional note, you'll see there's a letter there, okay? That's a traditional note, okay? On a web note, there's no letter, it's just a number, okay? Now, on the reverse, a web note will have the back plate number, that's right here, that's gonna be next to the motto of In God We Trust, or above the E in one. That's where it's placed on a web note, very easily identifiable. On a traditional or regular note, you will have the back plate number down here below the E, all right? So there's two ways to identify a web note. The location of the back plate number, and then on the front, the face plate number only having a number and not a letter. Okay, that's how you identify them. So now let's take a look and discuss what they're worth. There's two notes, there's two of these notes that command uh, you know, quite a nice premium in the secondary market. Uh, both of these are in the inaugur inaugural printing of the 1988 A series, and the rest are only worth a few dollars. So first, uh, notes from the New York Federal Reserve Bank in the 1988A series. These are notes that have the, the B 
print run, the B uh, a block uh, and L, uh, these have an estimated print run of only 1,920,000 notes. Uh, and they command a secondary market value of around you know, 140, 150, up to you know, 350 dollars or so, uh, depending on condition, as you see in the photo here. Uh, this one sold for $140, okay? And, and as always, with any collectible, you know, the value is really gonna be dependent on the condition. All right. Um, now the um, here's one here. Uh, this one, uh, this one sold for three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Um, it's a little nicer condition, and you see it's from the B block. There's a serial number, and then there's the L. Okay. So those are quite rare. Now the second notes are from the Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank in the same 1988A series. Okay. I know it's kind of blurry there, but it, that says 1988A. All right, and these were actually star notes. All right, that's right, these were star notes designated by the F block and then the star, okay? Now these are the rarest and the most valuable ones that you definitely wanna to try to find out there. The estimated print run was only 640,000 and in the secondary market, these can go for upwards of a couple thousand dollars, again, depending on condition. So you really want to keep your eyes open for these. Now this one here, this was graded uh, as a 65 with PMG, Paper Money Guarantee. Um, and this one sold uh, for $2,160. So it's a pretty high quality note there. Um, now keep your eyes open for these as you get your spare change from the store or from a restaurant, you know, places like that where you get change. Uh, keep your eyes on notes that you find in your tip jar. If you go to your a local bank and ask for currency there, these can be found in those uh, $100 bank straps as well. Now these are out there for the taking, that's for sure. People are still finding these out in circulation, all right? So you have to get out there and, and really keep your eyes open and try to find them. That's why I want to educate people in terms of what they look like uh, and how to find them and what they're worth. Uh, so, um, you know, people are finding these in circulation just like they're still finding very valuable star notes and fancy serial numbers that command a lot more than just face value. And I've discussed some of these in my previous videos. So hopefully this has been an uh, education, uh, an, an educational video that will help you to put money into your pocket by identifying these dollar bills, understanding their value and what to look for, and really encouraging you to get out there and start to search for them. So to keep my channel going and to learn about many more ways to make money in the currency market by searching for and finding valuable notes, please subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos and will continue to receive valuable information to assist you in your search process. And the like and share buttons also help a lot as well. So thank you all for watching everyone and we'll see you real soon in the next video.